Hello there and welcome to Steam with Steve. Today we're going to go through how to use Code Combat to learn Python. Okay, so to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to log into our um, Google Chrome and we're just going to search uh, Code Combat. Now this program is amazing. They have a really good course online and I would highly recommend purchasing it. But you can always use this introductory course to start. So as an educator, you can create your own course, um, which you click on that. And then you basically will create a new course and then you can add your own students into it. Now I have a class code um, that I've prepared for my team. Uh, was it lazy North sad? And that's how easy it is. So it tells you what year that you'll be able to, um, what the class name is and a little bit about who the person is that's created it. So then you click on continue and then you basically create your own student account. So you will create your own there. And then you'll type in your own personal details. Now I'm just going to hide my screen while I fill that in. There. And then that. Awesome. So I've now created my student account by just filling those details in. And I'm just going to choose the character. Um, I like the look of this guy. He looks pretty funky. And then you click next and then you start playing. So when you load the screen, this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna have your hero, um, how many players in the world, and all these different options here. We want to click on the CS1 level one, Dungeons of Kithgard. Okay, and then up will come the main game that you're gonna follow along with. So you'll have the map option to go back here. There's your little character there and then instructions down through here. So you've got goals, avoid the spikes, collect the gems. So there's some spikes on the wall here. There's the gem. And you guide your hero by writing a program with code. Write code in the editor on the right and then click run when you're ready. Your hero will read it and follow your instructions. Move your hero down the hallway without touching the spikes on the wall. So I think do it. On that, Grab the treasure. They give you some pretty clear instructions here, which I thought was awesome. You can use and these methods. Basically, they have the list of all the methods that you can do. So you have type your code on the right. Type a move down command on line and six. And you press dot, and then whatever command you want him to do. So you, at the moment, it's got hero dot move right already. So that's already happened. So if I run that, he'll move there. If that's all he'll do. We also want him to move down. And then we want him to move right. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in hero dot move. Now this is how interesting this program is. As you type, see if I press H, I have all the different options here. So technically I can just type that and then go down. And then if we want to go right again, we need to tell it exactly what to do because this is the sequence part. Um, I'm going to go old school and type it all out. And notice that they use um, lowercase then uppercase. Okay, so if you typed that with right like that, that isn't a command that is available. Okay, remember we talked about computer programming has got to be very specific. So moving right needs to have the cap R. Oops. Yeah, I know. Jeez. Sorry. There we go. And now if I run it, it should go through. You get the gem within the time. And we oh, bravo. Awesome. So we've been successful. And then the bottom right hand corner, you can click done. Now, if you get stuck, you can click on the hints menu up here. And there are some videos as well that support it. Okay. So you click on the done. Go that. I personally Lure like to go back to the map so then I can see what actually is going to happen. So if we click on the map, you can see a list of all the different things that we're going to cover um, throughout. Now, the cool part with this game is that there's basically these branch off missions which get you to replicate. Now, I'm actually going to do all of them instead of just the, the main storyline. You can follow along, do which way that you would prefer to do it. But yeah, hopefully this will be a lot of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, thanks again. If you can like and subscribe down the bottom, we would appreciate it with helping with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again. See you next time with Steve and Steve.